expect them to kind of like help each other and so on. And it happens here and there, but I don't think it's happening in a systematic manner. I don't have the explanation of the best numbers in the Nordic countries. You go outside of that, even in the US, the numbers are really pathetic. If, it, if they are a kick start, I say why not? Introduce yourself. President Kim Dong Jin, who is president of Gwangju University. Thank you. Hello, this is Dong Jin Kim, and usually my international student, uh, friends call me DJ, so you may call me DJ Kim, much easier. First of all, um, it is a great honor for me, for me to stand on this stage as the keynote speaker. I would like to express my respect and gratitude to Dr. Sargent and Dr. Ki Chan Kim and all of the management and participants who worked hard to hold a successful conference in Gwangju, a beautiful city here. How was your experience in Gwangju over the past five days? Did you enjoy it? Okay, it's a little bit. Let me do this. I hope the weather didn't diminish the charm of this city. It's naturally a beautiful city. After all, mostly, that is. When I was young, I was very short in height. My friends are often surprised when they see my height. How did you grow so tall? Well, I think it might be because of my mother when I was young. Whenever I do something normal, which is quite me, my mother always told me, grow up DJ. She still occasionally say it to me, even though I think I've grown tall enough. Grow up. Perhaps she doesn't think my height is not enough, although I do. Not as Dr. Sargent, though, of course. Yes, I wanted to talk about growing up. We all want to grow in various aspects of our lives. We want academic achievements to grow, companies to grow in size, revenues to grow, and even countries are making relentless efforts for growth. We all have a desire to grow, to expand our horizons, and to achieve new heights, except my height. The beautiful country you are in, the Republic of Korea, has shown remarkable growth over the past 70 years since the Korean War in 1950. It has experienced unprecedented growth in history. The dazzling growth rate surpasses imagination. It's like an infant taking their first step yesterday and urging their mother to let them participate in a marathon the next day. Korea is the first country that went from receiving help to giving help. However, the vessel of ambition is infinite, so we still desire growth, and that desire is very enormous, and that makes us to start to cross the borders. Traditionally, universities have been the primary institutions responsible for providing education and equipping students with the skills needed for the job market without the intrusion of money companies, or any other market logics. It is a realm of pure academic pursuit. However, the dynamics are changing. Companies are recognizing the value of practical, job-oriented job training and are stepping in to fill the gaps left by traditional university education. However, many companies that dream of growth have started to substitute the role of universities. As each company starts to employ education for the growth of its members, the scale of these programs continues to grow, surpassing the role of universities. Even Apple's headquarter office was called the Apple Campus. Ouch! Companies are providing courses and workshops through technical training centers, establishing their own academies, launching apprenticeship programs, and aggressively creating online learning platforms to effectively educate their employees. On the other hand, 
Universities are specialized in providing effective education to high school graduates or students aspiring to receive advanced degrees such as master's and PhD. Let me ask you a question at this point. Looking back, did you learn a lot while studying from university? Or did you learn a lot while working at the company? The average lifespan is increasing and the pace of change in the world is getting faster. In this era, the value of the knowledge acquired in university during our 20s and the skills gained while working at a company may be equally valuable, if not more so. How big of a threat would it be if universities went beyond their traditional boundaries? What if universities became holding companies established business under their own departments, generating profits, involving students in practical education, and even, pro and even providing salaries to the students. In this process, if small businesses were integrated, it could lead to continuous revenue generation, excellent educational outcomes, and enable students to graduate with experience comparable to seasoned professionals, moving away from the classroom-based education. If universities embrace an entrepreneurial spirit while companies achieve the educational values that universities possess, it would maintain the esteemed identity of higher education institutions and maximize the added value of the educational process through efficient operational methods that companies possess. Traditionally, higher education institutions such as universities have a dual organizational characteristics. They are composed of professional educators maintain, maintaining both fluidity and structural organization. It is the coexistence of chaos and cosmos from an organizational perspective. I believe that if universities embrace the entrepreneurial spirit within this gap, their potential would be tremendous. So, what does the future hold for universities? Rather than being left behind, universities are adapting and evolving. They are beginning to harness their research expertise, and talented students to create their own ventures, effectively integrating academia with entrepreneurship. Gwangju University has been trying to innovate with the new model, Entrepreneurship University, since this year. By establishing specialized centers for each department, students are striving to develop their major skills into market-recognized talents. Speaking of small businesses, they play a crucial role in our economy, but they also face challenges due to limited resources and access to cutting-edge knowledge. However, the solution is right in front of us. Small businesses should start utilizing the universities around them, tapping into their wealth of knowledge, research capabilities, and skilled students. I humbly would like to suggest to pay attention to universities around companies and to propose ways for efficient talent development at the company level. The potential for companies to utilize and grow through collaboration with universities in research, technology, and their students is enormous. Furthermore, Universities will continue to grow in such directions. I mean, growth that goes beyond just scale, growing up. Thank you for your attention. And now we're moving to another very important topic, youth entrepreneurship. Point out the, the role of the university. Uh, for this uh, chic economy participant.